Alrighty. I worked in my little book last night just to see how it feels. And it's not as comfortable as my Strathmore Journal because it's a little bulkier. And I couldn't fold the pages back as good when I was um, with everything in the ring binder. But it's not uncomfortable and it's just different. So I want that you saw that one. And last night I did this. I'm addicted. Y'all know I'm not right, right? Say so you do. <laughs> but it sure is fun in my brain. So I worried and worried and you know, anal, I'm O C D. I should have been an engineer probably, but I'm a developer and an inventor and all that fun stuff. So I decided that I have a We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool. Ta-da, ta-da. And that I could make a plastic cover for this book. And in my little feeble brain, I remembered that I had some scrapbook pages that I'd bought in a thrift store. And they have pockets here. Don't know what those will be good for, but we're going to find out. But anyway, I had taped these together to use them for, I think, putting rubber stamps in or something. And they're a gatefold. And what that means is, I guess you would do a scrapbook page, design it. And, whoops, I just ripped that one. Well, poop. Okay. Not a problem. I guess you would slip your, fa your scrapbook page in here close the fold and it would protect it in your book. I, guess, I think that's what it was. So I decided, okay, I could use this and my We Are Memory Keepers to fuse to make a book cover. Maybe the way we used to do them in school. And of course, to cut, I cut the excess off. I decided I wanted the little pocket seams that were already there to be there. Okay, So I, I used the seam. And I cut the rest of it off. You with me? I had two of them. And I cut the part with the ring binder off. And of course, I cut it too short. <laughs> Fun and games in Wikiland. Not a problem. We don't get upset about things like that. We just consider them to be opportunities. So I can take a piece of one of these. And... Very carefully cut it. Be nice if I cut it straight. And my cutter board is just right here. But nah, we don't want to do that. Okay, now I'm waiting on my tool to heat up. And what I'm going to do. I've got my pad. What I'm going to do is just attach a piece and we'll have a little trim on the edges. It'll be fun, I promise. Let me move this over here. My desk is a wreck after yesterday's paper playing deal. I'm going to take these off for now. I want to try to save those pockets. So I got to make sure I keep those to the top. Okay? Top. Top. What in the dickens have I got here? Okay. Oh, I burned. Look at that. Well, guess what? I got another one. Might as well use them. Alright, this time we can cut this one a little bit bigger and we don't have to worry about the gusset. We just have one seam. Not that it matters. Use my... I missed the whole scrapbook scene, so... Alright, now we're going to try to take the tape off without tearing 
the plastic. Okay, so far so good. And I'll prob oh that is the one that was ripped. Um, I'll probably fast forward. I'm taking tape off. Okay, so can we get the side? Well, dang it, that's the side we need. All right, I've got another one. Is that the one I just cut? Yeah. Truth be known, I've probably got another box of these somewhere. Now we're going to be a little more careful. And we're not going to touch that fuse tool because that sucker is hot. Okay. I want this side. Y'all enjoying listening to me rip tape? Okay, tape. It's so much fun being a creative person. Okay. Always make sure my flap is to the top. And I'm going to measure with this one. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it about an inch. I'm going to cut it big time. I'm going to cut it over here. Okay, so this one can go out of the way. Pull down the paper trimmer. Remember that you've got a hot tool there, Wiki. Okay, put this in here. Now let's see what we let's see what we really got. One of these I folded backwards so I could get the pocket where I wanted it. Okay, so I'm gonna be overlapping those. You with me? You catching my drift? I'm gonna put the clips back on here. I'm not worrying about the top and bottom edges at this point. Candy dandy little seven gypsies clips. I was eating Cheetos last night, and I thought, I can't pick up that canvas book with Cheetos on my fingers. I'll make a big old mess. Alright, so the book is stretched tight when it's closed. And so that would be an overlap. Would you look at that right in the middle? Am I good or what? No, you're not good. You just know how to recover from goofs. Make sure, don't worry about the inside. All we're worrying about is that the outside is fairly tight, I think. I may get this done and decide I don't like it. But we're going to pin it right here. And right here. Okay. 
Okay. And then when we open it, and we fold it back, everything is protected. That's the plan, Stan. Now, am I tight enough? I think so. So we'll take these off. Take the book out. Now figure out Look at there, look at there. Vicky's got her fuse tool ruler. Inch and a half. That one's a little bit tighter. Let's move this one in. Inch and a half. <coughs> um, excuse me. So that's pretty darn close. And that's assuming that I cut it even. Pretty darn close. Now, this tool it doesn't really have to be this tool. The other tool that comes with it has a little line in it where you can line your tool up. And this one has one too. And this is not a fuse. I think I'm going to use it. Now, there he is. Make sure I got my pockets open into the inside. I mean open to the top. They are. Now, there he is that I should be able to have some room on my desk. No, we're not playing with me yet today. And I'm going to put a seam down each. Move that over. Move that over. I've got a decorative tip on my tool. Now hold my beer and watch this shit. Now put this down in here and very carefully see if it's reaching through. And it doesn't appear to be. So we're going to go back to their tool and we're just going to line it up I'm going to go in about a quarter of an inch we know it's hot because I already burned some plastic are we working? no Hold it like a pencil. The speed with which you roll it is very important. And it's working. Yaha. You have to modify your pressure or the angle of the tool to make sure that it's rolling and not dragging. And yes, I am going back and forth over it a couple times. And I got off the line there. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, 
I love playing in front of you guys because you're so nice. Did we get it? No, we did not. All right, I think I got it now. It has to do with the speed you roll it. And there's also a caveat. If you go too far with it, hold it too long, it'll just melt through and cut. So there. You can always go back. And now we're going to do the other side. about a quarter of an inch in. If I decide I don't like that, I can do something else. Okay, slowly she goes round and round. Very deliberately I lost my heat again, I think. Come on. Come on, Nelly. I don't think I got a good enough fuse. It's also crooked. Oh well, this is a junk journal, right? No, I did not. And I know why now. It's because there's several layers of plastic there. So I may have to do it from each side. And you want to rest that wheel right up against that ruler and make sure you're holding it straight so that the entire wheel is making contact. Now this is a decorative wheel. Now let's see what we got. Okay. And I was right. It's because it's a double layer. So I'm going to come right beside it this time. On this side and make sure that we get this one fused. And then we're going to go on to the next step of this junk doodle journal. You went right off the line. This won't be the neatest job in the world. Okay. Now we got to do the other side. So we did that. I think that one's good. How did I do that one? Oh well. Okie doke. It's 
figure out where we're going now. I'm scared to death I'm going to burn something over here. I need my book. My book of book of book locker book of locker. Okay, top. So far, so good, folks. Well, the witches are with me. That's right, smack dab in the center. Okie doke. Now, how are we going to handle the turnip? Okay, I'm going to think. Okay. There's several choices to be made. I'm not going to call them dilemmas. I'm going to call them choices. First thing is I pushed up the bottom edge just to the edge of where that it wouldn't interfere with the ring. See right here? And then I just made a square fold right there and clipped it to see what we've got. Now, remember that this is open. And so is this to where I glued it, okay? Now, now, <laughs> I can slip something in here and cut a slit just on the top edge of this. On the front, I can do the same thing. I can put a piece of paper in there and cut a slit right by the top. That means that I have the choice of sliding in a piece of artwork or I can come back and paint this cover. Now, to protect the top edge of the cover, uh, number one, I'm going to have to cut off all but an inch so we have so we clear this. I think I'm going to do that first, just to get that out of the way. Sneaking up on it. That's what we do. Just made a little nip there. How are you going to do this? You're going to have to take it off. Alright. I'm going to have to take it off and trim it. Alright. the um, I think the smoothest way for me to do this with the least bulk I've got it pinned over here and pinned here. And if I just carefully fold that Make sure my edges are even. I think I get the cleanest fold that way. Now we want to be able to take this book in and out of the folder. Yes, no. So if this is all hooked down and that's all hooked down. And I want to keep as big a piece here as I can in case I want to use this for a pocket. Hmm. You're on your way to making a permanent
cover. I'm not sure that's what I want. I'm going to do some research on folding book covers. Got it. I was going down the wrong road on the textbook covers because the edge of the book, and they were working with hardback books, was exposed down here. So then I thought, well, wait a minute. You've got this fancy fuse tool. You don't need to do all that folding and stuff. Just fuse the bottom edge and then trim it close. In effect, let's see, turn it this way, goose. In effect, we're going to slide the book in like that. So we'll have a nice neat edge right there, see? And I think that's going to do it. I also changed my tip and got a smaller tip. Alrighty, I want to make sure this stays even, and I'm going to seal this edge right here. And I'm going to go from the fold and I'm eyeballing it. I guess, do you think that's why they put, <laughs> do you think that's why they put marks on their mats? I don't know, do you think? Whoops. Back up there. I've got little confetti holes all over my house, and I just rolled over one. And I don't really want that in my book. Get out of there. Okay, nice seam. And now I'm going to cut it, trim it. Not right next to the seal. This is going to work. This is going to work. Now, this can just slide right in here. Like that. Easy peasy. So far, so good. Now let's do the same on the other side. Clip that down. I think I'm going to turn it over and go from... You know, if I turn my mat 45 degrees, it doesn't have to be square to the world. Get out of there. Okay, I'm on the same side. Okay, wait a minute. Flap at the top. Flap at the top. You never know. That's to the inside. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, now, I'm hoping y'all see most of this, see what I'm doing. a little bit but not much. Not quite all the way. Okay.
I'm going to go ahead and fuse across the bottom just so it'll match. You can definitely tell this isn't done by a machine. And I'm not real sure what I did there except cut it off of crooked. Looky there, looky there. Crooked. Now then, let's see if we can trim that up a little bit. There we go. Now, that one slides on there. That one slides in there. And looky, I got a nice little book cover. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I've got pocket here, pocket here. What? Well, you can't see it. Pocket on the outside. Pocket on the inside. Pocket on the inside. Pocket on the outside. Now they're all sealed all the way around except for at the tops. So, what we need to do is make sure that's in there pretty good. And it is. Now what I'm going to do I saw this on the YouTube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut a very clean, very clean slit right along that sewing line. And that means change the tip. Now I'm using my silicone mat to unscrew this hot tip because you guessed it, Wiki doesn't wait, doesn't want to wait for it to cool down. Come out of there. For it to cool down. There. Now this is my cutting tool. And if you screw it in real tight, I mean real quick, you won't burn yourself because that tip is cool. And you don't want to go too tight either. Get the hot one out of the way. And put this down and give it a chance to warm up. My little fused ruler. I'm going to lay it right on top of that seam. You know what? I'm going to slide a piece of paper down in there. 
because I sure don't want to burn my book. Okay. Now, theoretically, nothing's moved. I can take this point and run it right along this line in this straight groove and you can't see a thing. Sorry guys. Can you see it now? Okay, not enough yet. Had it touching the top again, but that's okay. That's where I'm trimming. Cut again. What I'm after is a slit. Now that is only going to there. You know what? I think that's all right. Yeah, that's going to be just fine. And that way you could slip something right in here that would match uh, right in here that would match the size of that to there. And then that would leave the spine undecorated. You know what? And that's good enough for a doodle junk journal. Perfecto mundo. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the back. Making sure my book is down in there. Not to be confused with down under. move all this over so y'all can see. It'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe not. Okay. I'm going to line this up with the stitching line. Take my cutting tool. I didn't put the paper under it. Probably better do that because it's stuck to the fabric. We don't want that to happen. Hubs is out showing property today, so we've got the Liberty Ball game taped, and I hope Arkansas wins. Even though that makes our good friend unhappy because she's from K-State. That's the way we roll. Still not cut through yet. Yeah, we have a pocket there and a pocket there. Now all we have to do is seal the top.
and we want to come in about can I do this with the book in it oh and that's my slit no wonder it's I think I'm going to have to take the book out. We want to come in about... Oh wait, we didn't do the one on the inside. Y'all are letting me mess up. Take the book out. Now we want to do one. What did I do with the paper? We want to do one on the inside. Put that between. Put it inside the pocket. And we want to make this cut line at the same place we made the other one, not for any reason other than it just makes good sense. Okay, line it up. And I think we better do it like this. No. Where's that other piece of paper? We're just going to We're going to put that right there. You can't see again. I want to protect any mishaps from my backside. It's called cover your ass. Okay, now we're going to find... No, you can't see it now because you covered it up. Well, you can't see it. So you're going to have to do it this way. Use tool. Make sure you're in the between. You are. Look at where your line is. All right. All else fails. Measure it. Two and a half and a sixteenth. All right. More than one way to skin a cat. Two and a half and a sixteenth. Perfect. And I've got it all set up in an awkward angle, but I'm going to do it anyway. Stop before you get to the edge. Perfect first time. Okay, now we're going to flip it over and do it again. Uh oh. What do we do here? We cut through both of them. Oh crap. Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe not. This is going to work. Trust me. Okay, need your short piece. I 
and we need that to two and a half and a sixteenth. There we go. Metal rulers go off in the floor. Burn another piece of plastic. Now let's see what we got. We should have a pocket on the inside piece, and we do. We should have a pocket on the outside piece, and it's welded together. <laughs> we have a pocket on the inside piece, and we're welded together. I forgot the paper in the middle. Okay, so we're going to punt. What are we going to do? Okay, at least I was consistent. I've got front on front and back with a nice little seal. And a slit. Seal and a slit. You know what? That's alright, because it's gonna it can slide right in there next to the book. Okay. Now, what do we got here? We've got a, a light white pocket that has plastic behind it. All right, we're going to pretend that was my plan in the first place. Because this pocket is a little bit flimsier. And it also... Now, get this. <laughs> this is what you call being creative. If you stuck a pen in there or something and it leaked, you're not going to get it all over your canvas book because you've got a little plastic liner. <laughs> How cool. And this side, you can put your piece of artwork in the pocket right next to the canvas. I tell you, sometimes the muse just looks out for people like me. Okay, we're headed forward in grand fashion here. So if I make that about two and an eighth, let's come off of it just a hair. Two and an eighth, remember that. Okay, take the book out, book out. Told y'all, I love playing. Two and an eight. At one time I had a small ruler in here. There it is. We said two and an eight. I want to give that plenty of room. Now we do want to cut through both now, but I would like for that edge to be straight. Okay, so let's put a clamp on it. I'm doing two and a sixteenth and a half. 
two and a sixteenth and a half. Just under two and an eighth. Now I've got to change my point. Ow! That one's not going to come out so good because I need something to grip it with. You coming out? I believe it is. Now put the original cutter back in. Okay. Now give that a second to warm up. Don't touch the plastic. Now we're cutting through both. Yes, we are. And give that just a minute to get warm. Somebody told me a couple months ago or so that they really enjoy seeing my goofs in progress and how I resolve them. Okay, now this is the top edge, so we're going to cut all the way through. We'll come back over it. Not quite. Excuse me for sniffling in your ear. Did y'all know all these heat tools use the same diameter post in their points and tips and everything? I found that out when I was working with encaustic. They're interchangeable. It's kind of like an industry agreement. I don't know why anybody would think that would be a good idea. But one tip will fit any, any heat tool. These heat tools also do not have uh, temperature regulators. So for encaustic and anything that you need a, you don't need it boiling hot, volcano hot, and you want to control it. For example, with encaustic, you want to control your heat because the wax might catch on fire. That's an important idea. Not yet. And so if you control your heat, and what I use, and I think it's the only one on the market, it's by Wall, W-A-L-L-L-E-N-K, Wall Link. And you plug your apparatus into one end of it, and you plug the end of the regulator into the wall, and you can control the temperature almost perfectly I don't know if you need to control it with wood burning or not oh hey duh we're not tearing that one we're cutting it well it ought to be welded good okay come on across I think I better measure what do you think and I think I better try it. Of 
cross fingers. Well, I didn't, that's good, but it's a little bit too big. Okay. And we didn't get it hot enough fuse there. Overs. I'm going to come in about... I was being too cautious, wasn't I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're here. I'm applying a little more pressure. now ball hockey okay we'll get it in a minute reason is because we're going through four layers of plastic. Oh, you know what? Before we turned it. Now you're getting smart. Victoria. Okay. I guess volcano heat doesn't include four layers of plastic. Let's see what we got now. Okay, we got it that time. <laughs> okay, dope. I'm going with two and an eight this time. What this one end up being? Right at two and an eighth. Here we go.
I'm going to have to cut half of this out because I've got a video. This is for Inspiration Conspiracy Blog Hop. And we limit our videos to 10 minutes so that it's possible to go through all 12 videos in an hour. They're on everything from candle making to and you know, we don't have any bacon, we don't have any candle making, but cards, journals, drawing, you may find just about any kind of a video, which makes it interesting. And you can skip the ones that you're not excited about, and they'll be there forever for you. I'm still not getting that. Make sure I'm screwed in good. Okay. right there that's causing that to must be something on the ruler yeah you think not in my studio Poo poo. That one's sealed. We almost got it. I finally got it. I took the, um, I quit using the inside of it. There was something in the angle I was holding it that right in the middle it wasn't getting hot. So I took that away and just used the edge and I uh, got a good seal. Now what we're going to do is cut it just a little bit away. I'm squirrely about that. See, what did somebody say? This is a proof of concept. Yeah, if this was going into production, it would be a lot better. Okay. Oh, my God. No, I didn't. Thank goodness. I saw that fold and thought that was a slit. Woo. 
we'd figure out a way to make that work. Now I'm just going to slide this in here. Randy and I both work from home, so slide that in. It's a good thing the book turns completely sideways. I don't want to put any stress on my pockets. Now, would you just look at that? All except for that corner keeps trying to stick down. Just look at that. Would you just look at that? Is that cool? Except for that corner. And my little slits. And my little slits. Okay, we're going to fix that corner right now. If we have to glue it down, we will glue it down. Let's see if I can get in there without gluing it. Not that it matters. I just don't want to get the glue out. I'm the only person in the world who doesn't want to grunge up a grunge journal. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now if I wanted to, I could come back and put a flap over this so that anything that was slid in here, like a pen or something, wouldn't come out. But I'm not going to do that right now. Well, hell, one. No, I already unplugged. Okay. We're good. That's it. Till the next stage. All right, I turned the camera, didn't turn the camera on. That's a typical wiki for you. Um, fuse tool, I'm learning that I have to go back. This came loose. So just be aware of that. And I've also got another little split right here. I wish I had a way to tack those down a little better. I'll come up with something, I bet you. Um, and I decided I did not like the slit that I had at the top talking about putting stuff in. If you want to put something in, put it in the plastic first and then put the book in. That'll work just great. This little pocket does work well. I put that little bitty lightweight ruler in there. And uh, that's great. You don't want to give it too much stress, but again, because my seams aren't perfect. <clears throat> However, I'll give you a quick look. This is a blank cardstock page. This is the cardstock that came with my book. And all the rest of these papers I've cut. Here's a sample of a doodle done on a map. And a starting of a doodle using printed paper that has numbers on it. C2536. And this is um, white secure pen on the black and craft paper. And I wanted to get these started so that I would know that it was going to work when I left. 